This video is going to cover the basics of adding type to your document. To find the tool for adding type, look for the T at the top of your toolbox. If you click and hold, you can see there's a variety of type tools including an area, path tools, and vertical type tools. I'm only going to use the regular type tool for this video. There's two kinds of type you can add, point line type and area type. If I need to add just a simple one word or one single line, point type tends to be the best. To do this, all you've got to do is click once, and now I've got a blinking cursor that I can start typing. It works just like any other typing thing. I can highlight the type, I can double click and add it, edit it, anything that I need to, to do with it. If I need to deselect this and start typing somewhere else, I simply hit Shift Command A. That deselects my type, and I can click again and start typing again. If I still have my type tool, I can also click back on another area of type, and it will jump to that specific space. Additionally, with point type that I just created, I can choose my selection tool, the black arrow, and I get a bounding box around it. To resize this, it's simply a matter of clicking and holding and dragging it out. I can stretch the type, I can skew it, I can do anything that I would normally do to a normal object. That's with the selection tool. The second kind of type you can create is area type. I'm going to grab my type tool. This time I'm going to click and drag and create a type box. I've got my blinking cursor at the top right hand corner and with this one, I'm going to fill it in with some dummy text. This will give me a text box where all my text stays within that box. I can hit return, do whatever, and my type all stays within there. Just as with the other one, I can highlight text, I can deselect it by hitting Shift Command A. However, if I use my selection tool, I can select my type and move it around, but if I go to scale it, I'm not going to scale the type. I'm only going to be scaling the box that it's in. If I scale it too small and the text uh, doesn't stay inside of it, a little red box, a little red um, plus sign will appear at the very bottom corner indicating that I've got too much, uh, too much type to fit in this area. And I need to change the size of the box or the size of the font. The final thing to know is where you can find your character and paragraph uh, styling box. With your type selected, you can look at the very top in your tool options. Here is the character basics of the font that you're using, the style of the font and the size of it, and your paragraph styling, particularly the alignment. Additionally, you can find more information by clicking on the word character, and this will pop out your character palette, giving you the ability to adjust the letting, tracking, kerning, even the uh, all caps or small caps and even more options at the upper right hand corner. Same way for the paragraph. Click on the word paragraph. This will give you more justification alignments and also the ability to indent specific sizes or even hyphenate words within a paragraph. If you want to have these palettes open, and usually I have them open off to the side whenever I'm working with type, you can go to Window, down to Type, and there's your character and paragraph palettes that you can have open in a freeform palette by themselves. Usually the paragraph and even open type is docked with them.